Hello and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Tonight we're working on Grade 4, Module 3, Lesson 33, and this time we're looking at the connection between area models for division and the long division algorithm, and we're doing that for dividends that are either three or four digits long. So uh, a lot of these problems tonight are actually sort of multi-part problems, so let's take a look at one of those problems. It actually sort of makes up three problems. Let's take a look at problem three, which has three parts, A, B, and C. I'm just going to be doing this problem number three tonight, um, and it'll hopefully help you out with your, the rest of your homework. Um, this ask, asks us really to solve this problem in three different ways. Let's take a look at the first way. first way we're asked to solve this is to draw an area model to solve 549 that's 549 divided by 3. So when we look at area models, right, for problems like this, we try to draw the area model. Usually we use a rectangle. And we know this is going to be 3 wide. And we have to figure out what the other pieces are. We know that the whole part here, all this whole length, is going to be 549. But really, the whole crux of an area model is to solve, is to break it down into parts that are easily divisible. So the first thing we want to do is say, how many hundreds can we pull out of 549 that are easily divisible by, th by 3? So the most obvious thing, we could say 300, because obviously 300 is divisible by 3. The question is, could we get to another 100 from there? And the answer is no, right? Because 600 would be the next multiple by 3 of hundreds. And that's too high, because 300 is, uh, is below 549, but 600 is above. We'd already run out of space. So let's go ahead and mark that off. We'll say this is 300. Now we've got tens, so we convert the remaining two hundreds that we've got left, right? 500 minus 300. We convert those two hundreds into tens, and that gives us 24 tens left. And that's pretty good in terms of divisibility by, um, by three, that we could say 240 or 24 tens. 240 is divisible by three, divisible by three to mean to equal 80. And what do we have left now? We've got, uh, let's say we've got. 200, and we've got, I'm sorry, 300, and then 240, that's 540. Oh, so all we've got left is 9, and 9 is also divisible by 3. So we use the area model this way, we can say, well, what, what number of hundreds times 3 is 300? Well, that's 100. What number of tens times 3 would it, well, 24 tens, well, that would be 8 tens, or 80, right? And how many ones times 3 would equal 9? And that's pretty simple, that's 3. So we can use our area model to decide that 549 divided by 3 is 100 plus 80 plus 3, or 183. Let's take a look at Part B. Part B asks us to draw a number bond to represent this problem. Well, in the number bond problem, I'll do this in red here. We start with the whole, which is 549. We need to break it down into the pieces that are easily divisible by 3. So we're going to really do that the same way. How many hundreds would that be? Well, that would be about 300, right? You could break, down, th break off 300 of those. And then how many tens? Well, that would be 24 tens, or 240. You break that off. And how many ones? Well, we break that off and say that 9 ones. And then, in that case, we're going to take each of these and divide them by 3. So we'll take 300 divided by 3 plus 240 divided by 3 plus... 9 divided by 3. And then we would get our 100 plus 80 plus 3, or 183. Same difference. We'll switch to a black pen and do the last piece. The last piece asks us, we'll read, number C, read part C together, record your work using long the long division algorithm. So now we've got really the standard algorithm of division. So let's do that again. We'll do 549 divided by 3. And when we do the, long, uh, the standard algorithm, we look at each of the units, the largest unit first, and we ask ourselves, 500, how many hundreds could we multiply by 3 and still fit underneath that? And that means we could fit 100. So 100 times 3 is 3 hundreds. Now we've used up 3 of our 5 hundreds, leaving us 2 more. We bring down our next unit right here, right? And now we've got 24 tens. So how many tens could we multiply by 3? to get around 24 tens. Well, we could get 8 tens times 3 would give us exactly 24 tens. Beautiful. 24 tens minus 24 tens. We have nothing left. We'll pull down our last unit, that 9 ones, and we'd ask ourselves that same question, which is how many ones times 3 would give us 9 ones? Well, that would be just 3 times 3 would be 9 
and we would use up all of our 1s, which would tell us that our quotient is 183, and down here our remainder is 0. So now we've solved this problem three different ways. We use an area model to break 549 down into the 100s divisible by 3, the 10s divisible by 3, and the 1s divisible by 3 to figure out that our total total of uh, each of those parts is 183. We use a number bond to break 549 into those same parts, divisible by 3 in hundreds, divisible by 3 in tens, and divisible by 3 in ones. And then we've used our um, commutative property here. I'm sorry, we've used our distributive property here to, uh, to solve this problem, right? We've solved 300 divided by 3, 240 divided by 3, and 9 divided by 3. Got the same answer, 183. And then finally, we've used the long division algorithm uh, that we've come to know and love. And we figured out the very same thing, that our quotient is 183 and our remainder is 0. And this covers most of the different kinds of calculations you'll be doing here in lesson number 33, and I hope it's been a help. Thanks for joining us here on Mr. Kung Has Problems.